What's up everyone? This is going to be about extroverted thinking in the first slot, the dominant function of the ESTJ and ENTJ personality types. So to start off with some keywords, we can look at uh, rationality in the sense that TE is an extremely rational function and TE DOMs generally have a rational objective based mindset towards what they want to achieve in life and how they understand their external world. Um, TE can also be looked at as productivity in the sense, not only as just as being productive, but having a very uh, efficient way of uh, doing things. We can look at it as boundaries, goals, um, setting deadlines, and not only setting them, but making uh, realistic goals and knowing how to achieve them and always looking for that next step forward. Um, resources, in the sense that TE can really understand what resources are, how to use them, how to manage them, utilize them, optimize them, and uh, practicality. TE DOMs are probably the most practical people out there and they just always want to remain objective and it's almost as if TE is like kind of like just common sense and sometimes the way to fix something can be so obvious that just other people mix or uh, miss it and TE um, will just have this uh, solution to any sorts of problem. Um, as far as this axis, we can look at extroverted thinking as being logical and objective. It does not like being subjective. It wants to understand uh, external data, external resources, and have um, a sort of systematic, formulaic approach to life in order to move forward and solve problems. Um, and in order to do this, since extroverted thinking will be in the first slot, FI will be in the fourth slot, FI kind of wants to be more subjective and it wants to assess values to things. So this can kind of get in the way of dominant extroverted thinking. So there are times that um, in a general sense, you know, in order to think logically and clearly about something, uh, you can't assess value to it, so the emotions are essentially turned off. Now, I'm not saying that TE DOMs aren't emotional. Um, they experience emotions on a very deep level, especially when they get older, but most of the times, since FI will be in the fourth, it'll be repressed and it'll play a subordinate role to that dominant extroverted thinking. So um, when this happens, I actually want to read something from Jung and Psychological Types. So he says, uh, speaking of this dominant TE, when FI is being repressed, by this formula, good and evil are measured and beauty and ugliness determined. Everything that agrees with this formula is right. Everything that contradicted is wrong. And anything that passes by it indifferently is merely incidental. Uh, and then further along, he says, all those activities that are dependent on feeling which will become repressed in such a type, for instance, aesthetic activities, taste, artistic sense, cultivation of friends, etc. Irrational phenomena such as religious experiences, passions, and such like are often repressed to the point of complete unconsciousness. Now, Jung was a bit harsh on TE Doms in this chapter. I'm sure that you'll agree with me if you've read that um, section of psychological types. I don't necessarily agree with him on everything that he's stated, but sometimes this is true. And when this happens, TE DOMs can have this very cold approach where it's sort of this mentality of it is what it is. The law is the law. I don't care about what anyone else says. I don't care about what anyone else feels. I just want to do it my way. And that's that, you know, that sort of mentality. And that's extremely good for business. Uh, TE knows how to make the big bucks, but it can come off as a bit um, blunt and kind of bossy towards other people if those uh, 
subjective values aren't you know playing a role with that dominant thinking so as an example we can take like a te dom being a ceo of a company and they're going through a rough quarter the advisors come in um they say hey t t dom look um we need to uh, let some people go in order to keep this company up and running here's the data you know here's some graphs this is the analysis and information that we've done we need a decision by the end of the day in that sort of situation dominant uh, extroverted thinking is very valuable in the sense that they can look at that information completely objectively and come to a conclusion now without introverted feeling coming into the mix it can just be like okay what's the most efficient way to do this and it kind of puts it kind of views people as commodities not necessarily just as employees as as real people that are working for the company that's the job of fi so after this analysis uh, all that information can go down to introverted uh, feeling and fi will be like look te we've got to remember that these are real people um you know you're making a huge deci decision here that can potentially affect a lot of lives um and they've been working for the company they've been working for us uh we need to not just look at it as um you know just pure raw external data we need to keep in mind that these are human beings here and this is sort of like the battle of the head and the heart and fi will do it what will it uh what it can send that information back to te and then the te dom can reassess the data you know can we afford to not make so many cuts who can we keep based on their performance in order to be fair uh te it, you can also look at it as like um justice you know being fair uh just based on like the employee's performance or you know sales or how long they've been with the company that sort of thing it's a very difficult decision to make it happens on a day-to-day -day basis i'm sure uh, all over the world and you'll find that a lot of te doms are in these um, managerial very high positions um, or they just have their own companies uh, it's very often the case all right so another way that we can look at extroverted thinking is say for example this is a, a battle map and we have our te commander um in the lead of an army te has the ability to categorize um, classify objectify external uh, data objects resources systems in order to better understand and to um, get an organized sort of perspective of how to proceed forward so it can look at this map and say like okay here my infantry is here my archers are here cavalry is here artillery is here so on and so forth and say if we get a if we get some people coming up and this guy's got a sword and he doesn't know where to go the te dom can instruct him okay you go to the infantry and another person okay i've got a bow where do i go the te dom the commander is going to be like okay you go to the archers and so they can sort of objectify things in this way in order to um, get a better understanding of uh, like i said how to proceed forward how to win this battle um and of course this isn't gonna work too well in relationships but for a business it's fantastic um because it's super super efficient and once all this data has been um, organized let's say it like all these troops are where they're supposed to be then the te commander can say okay well okay, this is a vantage point this is a vantage point uh, we've got the high ground here so we should probably send some cavalry make scout out see what the enemy's doing so on and so forth and they can develop a plan to you know organize this information and to make it work in unison in order to win this battle um and another point i want to make is since i've already talked about fe we can compare te and fe as they both want to be objective fe wants to very simply put it's like how others feel and te would be more how others 
think. So taking this into consideration, a TE DOM, because they're so logical, but because they're so objective, they can sort of put themselves in the mindset of the enemy and, uh, you know, completely objectively think about what the enemy would want to do. Okay, maybe they want to secure this. Um, maybe they want to go here. Maybe they want the high ground. And this helps them um, formulate uh, a plan to, you know, it comes up with a, a better strategy. Now, of course, not, not everyone's fighting wars, but the same analogy can be used for like a business model where the infantry is like, say it's your sales team, uh, the artillery's, uh, the analysts, whatever. TE has the ability to, um, you know, look at things in chunks uh, um, as separate sources of information that, um, you know, and just analyze how they operate and how to efficiently um, utilize them and make them come together in order to profit, in order to, um, you know, do better than any rival companies, so on and so forth. So TE as a function, it's very extremely good with uh, business, with uh, marketing, law, uh, economics, basically any sort of field where there's a meta. So not only that the fundamentals of those fields are understood, but where uh, the, the meta strategy or, you know, things, strategies evolve over time. And sometimes it's more appropriate to, to go this way. Sometimes it's more appropriate to go that way. A TE DOM has no problem uh, throwing away past data and, you know, systems of the past that just don't work anymore or not as efficient as what's going on right now. TE understands this in a way that um, no other function can. And I know that I'm keep, I keep using like business metaphors and everything. This is where TE really shines, but of course not every TE DOM is going to be into business. Um, there are priest TE DOMs, professors, uh, doctors, even astrologers, and dare I even say TE artists. Basically anywhere, anywhere where there's a system that can be learned and if there's a possibility to uh, make an income and some money from it, they're going to know how to do it. Um, and even in, in uh, the fields of art, for example, and music, you know, a TE DOM can look at what other artists and musicians are doing, what's working for them, what's, what's making uh, their records sell and um, understand it from uh, from another perspective, you know, like kind of putting themselves in the other person's shoes and thinking in terms of checkpoints and seeing what other people are doing and learning from that, emulating that and doing it their own way. Um, whatever the field, a lot of the time, they're going to feel the most comfortable uh, in a leadership position where they can instruct others on the most efficient way to move forward and um, it really depends on the individual not just the type but the individual and what they want to do in life but as far as extroverted thinking as a function rationality productivity boundaries goals deadlines resources practicality these sorts of things will uh, affect the mindset of the te dom and um that's that's all i want to say for now i hope this video has helped you and thanks for watching